Hey everybody, this is Therese and I'm back with another episode of Transform with Therese. And I get to work with, oh my gosh, this could have been my first coaching client or one of my first coaching clients and that is like like more than a decade ago. <laughs> so, so Karen and I go way back with this beautiful um, big love fest happening between the two of us. And so I work with Karen, you know, here and there. She, as, as a lot of my clients do, they come in for a while, then they go on their own, and they come back and do a retreat, and come back and do a program. And so it's really fabulous to have like, like, oh sister, I know you, I know your business, right? So when I started doing these Facebook lives, Karen is in my fiercely here Facebook group, and she's just like, you know, I'll, you know, I'll volunteer, right? And so I'm like, Hello. yeah, yay! So Karen, first of all, thank you for for coming. Um, okay. We're close to Mother's Day, and when I think of mothering, there's 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 like you are the epitome of fabulous freaking mama, and so one of the things I appreciate about you. So you tell us what tell us what you do, right? So we're gonna start with a little bit of what you do, and then start with the challenge. You know, the work I do on these episodes is just a little slice to show you, well, mainly to give you hope, right? I keep saying I want to give you hope because I want to show you that it's not that hard, it's not easy, but it's not that hard if you have the right guide, if you have the right person that is, is showing you how to do it. So just jump in, love. Okay, so what I do, and it's been a, a challenge to get here because um, I have resisted it for so long. <laughs> My kind of superpower, I, I work in employment. I've done it for 40 mm -hmm. years, either uh, professionally or with family and friends and things. Mm -hmm. And um, and I I can get people their next up to their next level. I can get them their next promotion. I can you know, mm -hmm. figure out what they want to do. And I'm I'm just really good in coaching the 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 corporate environment, not being in the corporate environment. <laughs> but coaching it, I, I'm kind of magic. This is a woman who owns her value. Can you hear it? <laughs> Yeah. Love it. Okay. So, and what's the challenge? So where do you get so, What my challenge is, is that I've always, um, well, the story is that the, uh, the Sedona retreat that we did, which are magnificent. If anybody, if you do them again, people get that, get to them because they're, they're incredible. But what we, um, one of the things that came up at the last one was that, you know, I couldn't do something because it wasn't good enough. My TED talk, I talked about Therese right. and saying, right. you know, it's never good enough. It's never good enough. And uh, so Therese said to me at the retreat, she said, Karen, I want you to do B work. Do, do you remember my face? You were like, I, well, you're well, <laughs> I can't do B. I, 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 no. Yeah, well, the the thing is, is that she, so Teresa was asking what I want to get to. Mm -hmm. I want to get out of the ABC thing anyway. Mm -hmm. I put out quality work. Mm -hmm. I want to be happy with whatever I can do whenever that situation right. is. Right. So that's where I want to be. So it's good enough, right? It's good enough. It's good if enough. It's, it's not good enough. It's good. Perfect. No, but I mean, it's good enough that you can rest and say, this is good. Like this product, this yeah. thing I'm working on, ah, I can call it good. Yeah, that's, that's what you want. Good. Okay. So, so gosh, this is such, I love this episode because who doesn't relate to that? I'm kind of recovering. I'm like, eh, good enough. I can be a, I can be a little, <laughs> as my nails aren't perfect today. You know, I'm like, eh, good enough. Last week I went on Karen. I hadn't even washed my hair in the morning. I had the worst hair day. <laughs> I'm just like, Good enough, good enough. No. So I'm way past this, but I understand the pain of that. And there's lots of places that originates from. Generally, it's shame. That might not be for you. But for a lot of people, if you guys are watching, type in, like, do you relate to this? And hi, Joanne. Thanks for watching and thanks for commenting, gals. Um, do you relate to, like, it's just never, like, it's just never just. So, so like, tell me the, the inner process. Like, what's the... Because this can be torturous. So, so consequences of it not being good enough for you. Like, tell me that. Okay, so, um, I, it, tell me, ask the question again. So, like, does it make you delay getting stuff out? Do you spend money that you oh. don't need to spend? Do no. you second guess yourself? Do you take too much time? That's what I'm talking about. I second guess myself a lot, but what it does is it completely protects me from never having to put myself out there. 
well, that's exquisite, right? Okay, I love Karen. Karen obviously has worked with me. She's got so much self-awareness, right? And so if you think about it, this is, I, I did a talk yesterday, a couple days ago, about conflicting intentions, right? So there's a part of you, so anybody watching from Debbie Hoffman's event, this is for you guys. There's a part, and this is not scripted. This is this cool thing that showed up. There's a party that wants it, then the other party is like, holy shit. So what would be the fear, like if you if you did get out there, because this is protecting you, so do you understand there's a part that is protecting you from getting this work out there? What would be, what does it fear? Okay, so I'm not afraid of some people disliking me. I, yeah, right, that's not my problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So some people are not gonna be my tribe. Some people are not yeah. gonna be who I want. Right. I guess my fear is that nobody is going to. What if nobody? What if nobody loves me? Cool. No, what if? What if it's just, just yeah. you know? And what would that mean? So if nobody loved you, what would that mean? Um, and that means professionally, because like, so what would that mean? That would mean that, that it's all fake. And what would that mean? That I'm not who I think I am. And what would that mean? That I would be lost. I mean, what would I be? I would be lost. I would be... It, nothing, and, nothing. And if you were lost, then you would be nothing. I would be nothing. So I wanted, to, I love that you did this, Karen, because so here's one technique. I want to show you all some things you can do yourself. And so just again, ways to kind of crack open these crazy mindset, these, these stuck places, right? So one is just like dive in, like literally, because most of us, you know, I asked her 10 questions. And what would that mean? And what would that mean? And what would that mean? Because when you run it, you understand like, holy shit, this procrastination or this perfectionism is really protecting me from the truth or the potentiality that I really am nothing. Right. Now, now as we unpack this, when you hear when you hear like, oh my gosh, this could be discovered, what what softens or what changes for you? Well, I mean that it it, if nobody, if I could actually not help anybody, yeah, and nobody could gain anything from me at all, what changed to me was I went, that's not even true. Boom. Woo! Did y'all feel that? Did y'all feel that? <laughs> See, unless you unpack it, unless you deconstruct how it's all linked, because it's not just like, it's got to be perfect because I have really high standards and it's got to be perfect because maybe, no, it's going to be perfect because then if it's not perfect, oh shit, I'm really nothing. Mm -hmm. And for some people like Karen, it was just like, well, wait a minute. That's not even true at all. Right. Do you see how, do you see how that just, it instantly changes the energy of it. Okay. So y'all know it. I do my pendulum. So this is, this is just tapping into the energy. This is, um, like kind of, I taught muscle testing recently. This is another way of, of getting the information. And so when I go forward, this is a yes, sideways, this would be a no, right? And so tuning in, um, this is complete. So this is not complete, but now let's figure it out. Okay, so where do we go? Yeah, so this part is yours. Okay, so sometimes it's a, it's a part that has made a decision or started acting on something basically. Sometimes it's other people's or somebody else. No. So this is yours. Yay. It's all you. We can fix it much like I like fixing it. Find an aid. Okay. Okay, what was going on when you were 26? When I was 26, so I was in um I was working as a headhunter. Bob was in law school. I was taking care of everything because he was in law school. Um, I had <clears throat> two children. Maybe David was, maybe I was pregnant with David. So I had two girls and then my boy. Um, it was just, you know, that was our, our period of, just going through stuff. 
but why because what happens is here's what here's what I what I can do is I can just say something happened at a certain age that caused this pattern to get locked in right and so what was going on that that 26 year old you was kind of having to prove or kind of maybe maybe tentative or like oh my god what if this doesn't work like just just ask your unconscious to show you an example or find the point Well, at 26, it was the time when um, actually he wasn't in law school. He was going into law school. Okay. And so we were kind of figuring out um, we had graduated from, he had graduated from UCLA, and we were figuring out what we were going to do. And we, we had like any possibility. Yeah. Um, and there were lots of polls and stuff. I'm thinking how it relates. I'm, I'm, I'm just going through kind of what was going on at 26. So, he was, so it, gosh, you know what just came up? It was really, that's really funny because I've never even thought of this before. Was, um, it was, it was, uh, so, so let me tell you a little law school story. Okay. Okay. Bob wanted to go to law school. Uh -huh. We got married when we were sophomores and way too young and stupid. Babies. Babies. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so what happened was uh, he said his parents and everybody else said, no, you can't do that because mm -hmm. um, you've got a family now. And, mm -hmm. you know, this whole law school dream is out of like, just go. You need to go get a job. And mm -hmm. I said that um, I am not going to be 30 years down the road and have somebody say, well, you know, he could have been in law school, but right. you married him. Blah, blah, blah. So what I did was I forged his name on his law school application, <laughs> on his on his scholarship applications. The stuff <laughs> came back. I handed him a pack and said, you're going to law school in two weeks. <laughs> um, now. Yeah, they're still married today very happily, actually. <laughs> what? I said, you're still married very happily. So the man is right. right. <laughs> I adore him. Um, but but what I just thought of right now is that's like the, maybe the first the first time that I went okay it's going to be you it's not going to be me because feel you that know what I mean? just feel that just feel all that my body is like just yeah mm. and I think that I we we. Bob and I are a team. We've always that's our absolutely, absolutely. Thing. like we're a team. Mm -hmm. So some people do this and some people do that. And frankly, I didn't want to do school. Right. Um, we met at UCLA. I was a math major there, so I'm not incapable of that. I just I'm not interested. Path, right. um, so yeah, I you know I think that was exactly when it was going to be him, that's not it. me. That's it. Okay. Oh, isn't it so fascinating? Because literally the pendulum can tell me, or it's actually energy, this was the point of origin. This decision is related. And it's really weird because she's like, I don't know. Like, Karen, this isn't a trauma thing. This is just a decision thing, right? Yeah. And so what I want you to do is I want you to see the little, see the 26-year-old in front of you. What does she need to hear? I mean, I mean I'm like, it's your time. Now it's your time. Bob got his, and this is your time. And the world needs you. Those people that you're supposed to, just as Bob has helped his people, yeah. your people need you. So see if you can, because you're such a good mama bear. So see if you can mama this one up a little bit. Just, just like love that decision out of her and see if she can release that. Because it's 100% it's, it's blocking you. Like you got a hold, it's gripping you. Well, I think what I want to tell her is that's mm -hmm. okay. That decision was okay mm -hmm. then. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It was perfect for what mm -hmm. the team needed. Right, right. Um, and that it was, it, yeah, because of what I had to do through that time, it it got me to where I am. So, mm -hmm. so to her, I want to say, oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you for doing all. The, oh my God, look at me! <laughs> I hope that you make me cry. 
Damn it. Oh. I always do too, don't I? <laughs> I do. Thank you. That gosh, I'm so grateful for her. Thank you for making me who I am and what I am right now that I can now do because his, his because really in that whole story of the two of us his time is winding, winding down right. quickly yeah. um, we, we want him out of that right now mm -hmm. and 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 I'm and it's not okay so here's the other thing is the pressure on me now to do like all the stuff means I have to do all the stuff right and I don't have to do all the stuff right I just have to do all the stuff me <laughs> when you say that what happens in your physiology what do you notice about yourself there we I'm go I'm tingling a little bit I'm yeah. like yeah. That, that knot right here is yeah it, I, I, can I tell you when I was when, when I was watching one of these and you did the one about the, the woman who wanted to lose weight mm -hmm. and you had her come, go down in herself mm -hmm. and what I did was I went down because this relates I went down in, in myself you know doing it with you mm -hmm. and I got to a really stuck place and I went and I'm overweight and I was going I need to get I need to get out I need to get bigger I need to get bigger uh -huh. and so what's happening is I'm getting bigger physically I'm, I, I don't need to get bigger physically I need to get bigger wow Ooh. energetically exactly. and, um, and so it's telling her you did she did all the exact right things mm -hmm. to make me the expert that I am right now. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And if she's if she didn't make those choices and do those things, because she wouldn't have done what she did if on the other path, right? Then I wouldn't have the gifts to be mm -hmm. able to give right now. Mm -hmm. So can can she know because here's like here's like stop start right you got the gas going and she's hitting the brakes like but 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 and that shows up as it's not good enough perfectionism that's that's the how it shows up but that's the pattern and so ask her if are you willing just to free me so I can be this badass help helper that I am in the world because people need me and it's my time now so is she willing to let that go oh it's a hell yes it's because she didn't know she didn't know no, right Woo. this is awesome i don't I'm, I'm not good at the wind beneath my wings thing i'm you know like i need to be the bird you're the <laughs> <laughs> you're the rocket okay hold on so so um this is complete so speak your intention i want to be out uh, I, I want to know that what i'm putting out there is I want to have confidence that what I'm putting out there is good. Speak it present tense. Since our call trees, holy I, shit. <laughs> I have the confidence. I do. I have the confidence. I have the confidence that what I'm putting out is good. And it boom. And I move on and put out the next thing. Boom. My work is complete. <laughs> How is this feeling for you? A little drained. I'm a little. I'm a little. Yeah, drained. it's a, it's very. It's, you know, it sounds okay. We've had we've had like a six sixteen minute phone call, right? That's how. This is like I'm a ninja, right? <laughs> but you don't even understand if you're watching the energy that that is happening here, the shifts, the emotion. It's just like, whew. So of course you're exhausted. Make sure you drink lots of water. Maybe an Epsom salts bath. Um, just keep tapping into her. But it feels like this is super complete for you. Um, Oh, that is so because I that never even would have crossed my mind. It, yeah, yeah. And think about it. I wouldn't know that story. So th this really is like it's not like a psychic that's like there's a man lurking around. You know what I mean? I'm literally I'm hearing the. I'm just going. What? Oh, 26. Like it literally tells me the origin of it. It's fra fabulous. It's so powerful. So fast. So anyway. Um, what a delight. I love to work with you. You know that, Karen. So thank you so much for being in my my oldest, dearest client. Well, well thank you. I just love you to pieces. About what? I said I just love you to pieces. Thank you. I told you we all have a love fest here. And if you're watching, I'd love, you know, here's what I've really loved 
is like you all you already referenced another episode and so a lot of people are watching the episodes doing the processes and I hear back from them oh my god I had a breakthrough when I watched I tried that technique and this shifted and when that woman did that I had the same thing so so I would love to hear like your response how did this feel for you what did what came up for you and props to Karen like you know this takes some courage and I will say if anybody is is wanting one of these I'm I'm taking applications I continue to roll out these these uh, episodes because mostly I want to give you hope I want to show you because you know lots of times people have the externals down or they're working on the externals but if you don't know these little places you don't have the support in this area it's really difficult it doesn't work so well so that is it I'm delighted to be with you peace and blessings and Karen thank you so much Mwah. big hugs thank to you, you. Okay, bye everybody.